So I guess I can show you guys, uh, uh, there's some quick tips and shortcuts on doing a few things, and one of those things is uh, uh, facial animations and stuff. So what I did a minute ago while we were kind of talking, I imported, uh, and this is a script that you should just have. If anything, you don't have to use it every single time, but it totally helps with uh, uh, getting the base and then editing. It's like walk animations. It's kind of unrealistic to make a brand new walk animation for every single time a character walks anywhere on screen. It's much easier to just import an existing walking animation and then tweaking it as you need it. And there's like six or seven different types of mm, massively rotated walking animations in, in use. Some of them are a little, a little bit more running, some of them are walking with a little bit more cool, some of them are all happy and perky, and you can kind of use which one you need for your scene and then you can modify it as you need. Uh, so, same thing with emotions. You can, every single time, add a new face with the sliders, but it doesn't hurt to, uh, let's grab Cloud Chaser. We'll use her. Uh, to just edit them. And then edit the one giant. I want her to look mad, and then kind of tweak it. <laughs> uh, so what you would do is you would go right click and you would go show element show an element viewer in the animation set it'll bring up this somewhere sometimes it'll pop up as its own window like like this sometimes it might be over here on the right put that back <laughs> there. and what you'll want to do is go to your preset groups preset groups what this does is we'll bring up the options of stuff that shows up up here editable editable options so we're going to go right click preset groups import element uh, this you'll have to find the DMX file DMX is like the almost the universal everything file type for stuff like uh, animations or animation sets and you want to find VN emotion and I will link this into the Twitch and YouTube chat here in one second, I promise. In fact, let's really quickly do it right now. Let's go MLP SFMVN underscore emotion. And I'll show you what this does real quick. And there it is in Twitch. Uh, this is a, a tutorial more, uh, what I'm linking is a tutorial more or less saying the exact same things. But uh, somewhere in there will also be the uh, uh, the link to the VN Emotion actual file. So what that does, you go back to the animation set editor up here, where all your tools are on the left over there, and grab Cloud Chaser, grab the parts that are appropriate for emotions, such as her face, right? And you'll want to grab these arrows up here, see where like the procedural parts are, the lenses for the camera and it'll add a new one on here for emotions. And what do you know? It says neutral, happy, angry, shocked, sad, confused, blah, blah, blah. All you gotta do is just like the things down here, you see how uh, if I wanted to make her uh, smile, for example, down here, I would grab uh, the grin and I would just move it up. Instead, you can grab the emotion part and go happy. And it'll grab multiple parts all at once. See how it grabbed, it made her eyes change a bit, made her grin, it added smirks and everything. These basically up here are just preset preset options that when I move one, it will affect multiple pieces at once. Like here's annoyed, here's surprised, here's happy, here's sad, angry, eh, and then neutral is uh, everything zeroed out. But what did I mean about edit it? Uh, let me back up, sorry. <laughs> If you wanted her to be happy, you could put happy on there, and then I was talking about kind of now modifying it for the scene. A lot of people, when they use happy, like to use the happy eyes, which is the upside down, uh, the, the eyes closed, where they're not just closed, but they also have that upside down like U shape to them, like an anime kind of look. This is them just being normal closed. It's just, they're just closed. Change this just a bit. But the happy eyes, happy eyes. Pinkie Pie <laughs> jumping in the way, of course. 
So I applied happy and then I edited it as I needed by giving her the other happy eyes. Annoyed and confused. You can always do kind of a half and half. Like if you wanted to do angry, it applies everything. And if you hit annoyed, it will be, it'll use, instead of using the neutral position and going to annoyed, it would use angry as your new, your new starting position, annoyed. 